My name is Kim Koloff, and here we are at the Danny and Ron Rescue Booth at the Horse Show in Wellington. And we're here today because we have a very special guest who I'd like to tell you about. First of all, I want you to know about what happened to me this year. December 7th, I had my first stroke with several blood clots in my brain and three after. I was told to go to the hyperbaric chamber so that it could help my brain heal. While I was there, I met a very special young man. And he's going to tell you his story, how the hyperbaric chamber changed his life. We healed together. And this boy just touched my heart. Mulligan. Uh, my name is Aiden Mulligan. I was in a car accident March 8th, 2019. Two years later, I was introduced into hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which has changed my life forever. It has helped me find my words easier, sleep better every single night. Not only that, it's given me clarity of thought, which is all that I could ask for, really. When I was in the car accident, a piece of fence went through the right side of my head, shattering my forehead and giving me five minutes to live. I was then airlifted to a hospital that was in Providence, Rhode Island. I had to learn how to walk, talk, eat, and all that stuff all over again. My mom to the left of me had to deal with the worst part of it all, I believe. And Oh, geez. Hi, I'm Sherry Mulligan. Yeah, I had to deal with the worst part of it. Um, but Aiden, you know, was a fighter and a trooper. He ended up at Spalding um, after Providence for um, seven months of intensive rehab. And then when we got back to Rhode Island, the uh, doctors there said, okay, he's all set. There's nothing else we can do. And in my, my brain, I'm like, there's so much more that could be done because he wasn't right. And I knew he could get better, better than what he'd already done. So. I started looking at alternative treatments um, because there's nothing else out there for a traumatic brain injury um, and people are kind of just left on their own to figure it out. So I did some research and that's how I ended up at Hyperbaric and um, Aiden just finished 60 treatments and like he said, he's done amazing. Um, and we look forward to his future now and hoping he's going to get back to school and drive a car and, and all those good things that boys his age should be doing. Yeah. And thank you for having us. Well, we. Hi, I'm Ron of Danny and Ron's Rescue. Unfortunately, Danny couldn't be here because he's judging week 12 at WEF, but he really hates he missed this. But we are just so honored to have Aiden and his mom here. Um, you know, we do a lot with dog rescue, but we also do a lot with human rescue. So this is just very meaningful to have Aiden and his mom here at our booth today. And we are so proud of Aiden for the, the long journey that he's taken and has had such a great recovery and we're so proud of his mom for researching more than what a lot of times doctors tell us. Um, one more thing I'd like to add is that besides having strokes, I also have MS. And 38 years ago, I was unable to walk, my vision was double, my speech was slurred, I felt completely handicapped. I was lucky enough to have stem cell treatment and I think the reason why I love to help Danny and Ron with their rescue is so many of their dogs that they get have been abandoned, abused, neglected, and they have to be brought back to what's appropriate before they're adopted. They all live in their house and they're loved. And it has given me so much joy helping to bring them back to normal like I am, hopefully, sort of. <laughs> and how do you feel about being here with the dogs that are kind of like that Aiden, that need to have love and care and to be brought back to what they need to be to be adopted, right? It feels, feels kind of similar to my situation where I was in need of help and in need of somewhere to be and people to love me. I look at them and I see myself really and I just really want to help them in any way possible that I can. Going on that with help, I think, you know, so I'll get emotional now. I don't know if I can do it, but he, uh, why did this happen? And I think the reason, maybe, is to help others. And Aiden's going to do that. Um, and we're hoping through Hyperbaric, possibly starting our own business in the future. we got a lot to look into and figure it out. But um, I'm gonna, I have a Facebook page um, you can all look at under my name. It's a Shari Mulligan 
Cota, or it's, no, it's Shari Cota Mulligan, sorry, C-O-T-A. And you can read a lot about Aiden and his journey, and there's a um, video on there. Um, and that's probably where I'll start the HBOT. Um, that's my only platform that I have right now, so <laughs> the only way I can get um, any help out there is, is through Facebook. I get, I receive help through that as well for traumatic brain injury and hyperbaric oxygen um, therapies. So I think our hope is to help people, and that's... Uh, yeah, currently we are going to Orca, Orca um, Hyperbarics in Delray Beach, Florida, with a Dr. Creel. Oh, it does help dogs and animals. Yeah. Yeah, hyperbaric chamber, you know, really helps any living, breathing thing on this earth because it really just helps regenerate the body, and so it is very helpful with canines, with humans, and so I think Aiden is proof to us how much the hyperbaric helps and Kim Koloff I mean I can just tell you since she's done it she is so much better she looks better her skin looks better and I think she's taken 10 years off off of her life just just going to the hyperbaric and anyway any of you that want to adopt a dog Danny and Ron's rescue and watch our movie Life in the Doghouse on Amazon Prime and iTunes. But we're so proud to have them here with us today.